your you are solution. repressing your anger because your dad doesn't want to deal with it. That's you're f- such a fucking bitch. You're an abusive asshole. You're an abusive asshole. He's Give me serious. my fucking hat, He's you serious. bitch. Get out of your fucking car. Dude, don't ben Thorpe for a brokey dollar says, how's a golf club to your fucking kneecaps sound? I'll find your kids. Look at what's happened to Grace. She's not always crying about her mother no more because I fucking fixed her. My mom said she couldn't come. That's cool that you're in New England. Nobody's in New England these days. To and uh, about... Mr. Girl is from uh, New England too. Amherst. Yeah, yeah. Right? So that's why you started this because you wanted to start talking about... I, yeah, I think so. I don't know. Oh, uh, I see where you're going. You're saying I'm trying to use you to get to Mr. Girl? No, I, 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 you beat me to it. But it's obvious I was going to say that because it is obvious. Yeah, I'd like to stream with Mr. Girl. I also enjoyed talking with you. I'm really happy we started our relationship up again. You do want to use me to get to Mr. Girl. No, like, I actually didn't realize that you were connected to Mr. Girl originally but people kept saying to me you should you should you should connect with mr girl mr girl mr girl he said he never watched any of our content that he he summarized our content as a guy pretending to abuse his daughter which is a form of abuse mr girl is a very interesting figure he's way more capable than most of these people of carrying a conversation of being thoughtful of being creative of pushing back (gasps) okay so why is he not on the internet you know big tech right Hmm. well that's the first i know big big tech really well yeah well he's responsible for the beginning of this saga of deplatformation big tech's called you out okay big tech big big okay do you want to have big tech come on this idea that i went out of my way to get mr gold deplatformed is a false narrative that i don't want to uh encourage you to continue repeating it. it Yeah, yeah, you could have you could have contributed, but you you, you definitely you definitely threw gas on the you plane. You said it. You said that, you. and that might so have do you made, stand made, made by it that? worse. It may have. No, I wish I didn't say it. To be perfectly honest, I wish I didn't say it. Why not? And a, a lot of my fans think it's awesome. No, fuck that guy. We we love that. Don't ever take it back. No, I wish I didn't say it. It's actually not cool. I meant it funny. I meant to be funny. When I woke up the next day and they were letting me know that he lost his channel, I was like, oh fuck. If I could go back and redo it, I wouldn't have said that. Like Mr. Girl's channel just got deplatformed again, and I, I'm I don't. This has there's no connection to you in it all, but uh yeah. it about like endangerment but like he, he didn't post anything new and there's no videos of children and there, there, there's no like they just had cleared his channel so there's there's no way that it could possibly it was so it was literally just unless some, they some, unless somebody found something i mean something that they don't want on their platform i mean the, well, guy, enough, the, the you, point the, the problem, problem is, is, if you're, is a, the point is if, if you want to make a bunch of content that walks the razor's edge of what's allowable and what's not and uh you got lyrics in your song that's like i'm literally sure. a motherfucking i'm gonna your kids and stuff like that is the don't clip it <laughs> if, yeah. that, if that's the lyrics in your song and it's like all right and, and then you want it's like hey but but my free speech though it's like well good luck i mean if you make yourself an easy target and then you get taken out no but that's but, pushy uh, shit. That, but that you're, argument is you're, you're blaming the victim no no but that argument that you're using yes. is also right. applicable i said i said of destiny he was on air, or he he sent out a tweet or whatever the hell, saying that he was taking mushrooms. And I said, if you're taking mushrooms and you have firearms, you should surrender those firearms. And I added Governor Ron DeSantis in Florida, where he is, which I think they should have sent agents to take his firearms from him. Yeah, so you're because, a Yeah, I don't care. What, why are, right. I think it's wrong. To be glamorizing doing illegal Schedule One substances to seem cool. Yeah. Uh, we gotta we gotta have to have some way to make it so that kids aren't watching this shit. So then, then you know, people can no. be. No, that was my point. He should not me, be glamorizing guy... drugs. Yeah, you could but be like, glamorizing and watching. All right, I mean, like here drugs we are back in the same adult. conversation. There's a bunch of stuff that you're doing that uh, shouldn't be, you know. Me? Seen by kids. I don't, yeah, yeah. You seen, all of us. Like, all what? of us. Honestly, a lot of stuff all, that you do. None of us what? want to be I, seen I by like. kids. Well, like, yeah. none name of one us... thing. Oh, come on. <laughs> name no. one thing? <laughs> no. Don't need to. Yeah, right. That's what they all say. Name one yeah, thing right. that I do. That no, because I don't want to get in, in, get into it with you. I already made my point. That's all. I don't right. got to prove it to you. So you're a fucking liar. Point... Just say shit. No, I'm not. back it up. 
No, everybody knows pussy. what I'm talking about, and I don't. Pussy. Fine. Pussy. Okay. Okay. And a liar, says the guy too. on the, you says the guy joking. on the internet who you would, are a says fucking guy, liar. Says the you came on guy. here. Call you me, call me a pussy that on the internet. Tough when guy. you weren't tough, tough guy on the internet calling me a pussy. Got it. Um, I'm not anyway. trying to be a tough guy. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. You say shit. Okay. I ask you to back it up. Okay. And you go, I don't have to. Well, that's uh, yeah, pussy shit. I don't have to. No, I don't have to. And that's it. And you're just gonna have to deal with it. How about that? The least you could do is just change that picture where you're kissing your daughter. Yeah, you, right. That's the kind of that, shit that. That's you the bring kind it on of yourself. That, yeah, I bring it on myself with yeah with that picture. This right. is what I bring on myself. Are you fucking crazy? Are you crazy? Yeah. Are you, you know out of your mind? People, you, you don't know think a thirteen-year-old should see this PFP? What the no, fuck is 13, wrong with no, you, dude? Has, what the fuck the is wrong with you? That's not the issue. It's not. What is wrong with this picture? No, it's are you out of your mind? It's that it's sig it's it, it like it signals to the people that think that you did it that like you are brazenly like pointing. I it in did their what? Face that I did what? That you had sex with your daughter. So you think I have a lot of repressed anger? Yes, and I think the way that you repress your anger is by thinking of yourself as someone who has way more control and power than you do, and thinking of other people as not having control and power and by recasting yourself a, a bit like smith recasting yourself as the omniscient person the adult in control and your okay, mother wait, hang at, on a second if you are inordinately angry if your anger doesn't make sense it blocks your natural joy and your sense of humor and you might end up in a flannel jacket with a neck beard under purple lighting at 11 24 p.m talking to me on a stream not laughing or having a good time. Do you think I'm doing that on purpose? No, but I think then, you should be open to Then why are you it. then why are you angry? I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I'm genuinely not angry. I think you, you're a funny You should put person. that on your tombstone. I'm genuinely not angry. Yeah. I think being angry when you don't know you're angry causes problems. But it can it can you make you pass it can make you, you it, it can make you blurt out mean things that you didn't realize. Why would somebody want to repress something if it doesn't cause problems in their life? Why would somebody want to repress it? Why would I want to causes, repress my anger if it, it doesn't cause prob me problems? Cuz it causes other people problems in your life. Like what? Like my mother? Like your father? Okay, so you admit okay. that anger causes other people problems in your life and you. What is your solution? I think you are solution? repressing your anger because your dad doesn't want to deal with it. That's my working theory. <laughs> okay. He doesn't okay. want to deal with my anger at yes. my mother? At him. Okay, but what do you think I'm angry at him for? I don't know. Because I was angry at it him just, for a you, lot of stuff. I, I, you just come across like somebody who's not allowed to get angry. I don't know why. But you okay? You haven't seen my streams. Okay, fine. I do get angry quite a bit. I'm sure you do. You're making a lot of assumptions. Don't you yes. think that's not really good faith? I mean, I could make a lot of assumptions about you, starting I think with you the are. neck beard. But you know, I would not do that. So those little jabs that you then <laughs> disown, jabs that you disown, come across as a. a come across as repressed anger it's like you're bursting at the seams with rage you're an asshole news flash every single time you act like an asshole it's a news flash you're an asshole your mother is an asshole you are your mother's daughter you're an asshole is it your mother's it fault is a setup. Sure, it's your mother's fault but at some point, it's your fault, too. But whatever, just I'm saying move on. But you can't move on until you get real and say, I am abusive. I am I'm abusive. a fucking asshole. I am a fucking asshole. And I know that. And I that's said why to I you, let's do this Mr. Girl thing. I said it like three days ago. Yes. When it's fresh. Right. Instead, you abuse me. For three days and cry or whatever, right? And I'm saying, like, come on, let's do it. And finally, 
I'm like, let's do it. Okay, I finally was able to overcome your abuse enough to get some sleep where I could go on. But before that, you had to abuse me so much that I was bleary-eyed all day. You're an abusive asshole. You're an abusive asshole. I and what you do is asshole. you bring me on here. You fucking, why do you wind me up? Because I you want to wind me up so that you can the play abusive. the fucking victim. So you can have your dripping mascara. You fucking love it. You drink it in and you have the sympathy of these fucking losers in chat. Who don't get it, but they're getting it. Yeah. I am an yes, I am an abusive asshole. Yeah. It doesn't make sense, bitch. It doesn't. You're right. Ben needs to be there. Ben and Smith is always content. Smith specifically said that my father was not allowed. I don't know if I said that, but maybe I did. <laughs> but uh I'm glad like he's just like fucking creepy dude. How much for Smith to throw his hat in the river? I like this hat. Are you really? No, like, please don't do that. Ben Thorpe. What $20 ben Thorpe? from Frederick throw the hat. You got your purse. If you throw my hat in the river, your whole purse is going over. Give me my fucking hat. I got $20 to throw it in the river. I don't fucking mm. care. <laughs> Someone give me twenty dollars to punch her in the fucking face. I think he's serious. He's serious. He's serious. He's serious. He's give serious. me my fucking hat, he's you serious. bitch. He's serious. He's serious. <laughs> Fuck away from me. He's serious. He's serious. He's serious. How can I make it up to you, Smith? No, it's all good. You're it's fine. It's, You're if fine. we dissolved it, we You're dissolved fine? it. Yes. You Are have you to sure? drive them home anyway, so that has to be dissolved. It's fine. I'm angry, but it's okay. I, I pushed you. That's a, was, man, a man. I, I did a man you. does it's, that. Okay. A man does that. You shouldn't put up with that. I should have put up with that? No, I pushed you. You can push people. I shouldn't push her. You no, did you push should, me. No, you it's wrong. <laughs> That's what a man does. That's what she wants. I know, but I don't I shouldn't have done it. Okay, I'll how about this? I'll buy you a hat as an apology. Last time, uh my hotspot isn't working, so I can't use my iPad to search things. But we can I'm end just the, gonna we can use end the stream. free Wi-Fi. We can end the stream. Do you want to? Kinda. Are you tired? Yeah, and then I can just go home and feel safe and feel good. Are you afraid of people doxing your location? Yes. Even just us traveling? Yeah. Seriously? Yes. Don't end. Dude, literally, okay, first of all, it's fine if you are, but like, you, like, nobody knows where we are right now. Like, literally nobody. Yeah, they do. we're in Boston. Yeah, so what? Central State or Square or whatever. Yeah, so what? They would, you think they're gonna track where I turn left and right? Yeah. It's time you face your spheres, Smith. Okay, first of all, my chat has never doxxed anybody. Literally never. Oh, I got Wi Fi. Yes! Okay. All right. Okay, just type it in. Here you go. Sorry, Dad, I missed you in chat. We're just trying to get some Wi-Fi so that I can get Smith home. I'm gonna find his place. She said, who is this? <laughs> Whoops. Who that? It's my ex-husband who fucked your daughter. Miss you, Dad. I can't wait to go back home. Three minutes. Yeah, damn. I told you it was like, bro. <laughs> well, we got a hell of a stream ahead of us. Party at Smith's. What's the boundary of yours that has pushed? Making jokes about jock doxing me. We all like Ben more than Smith, though. Suffer, Smith. Like, yeah, I hate you guys. You guys are all pieces of shit, losers. Especially Ben Thorpe. I could hurt your daughter right now. There's nothing you can do about it. How do you feel about that, Ben? Well, then you wouldn't get home, so. I could just fucking get an Uber. Well, probably get hurt if you hurt me while you were driving. I go to jail. Smith, do you ever regret doing a bad job at the job? I mean, I never personally, but if you're going to go for it, I think it makes sense to do a good job. I want to get out. I'm getting out, and I'm ending your stream right now, too. All right, I'm just getting up. I'm getting the fuck out of your car. Why? Um, yeah, don't. I'm, I need to. 
Get out of your car. Why? What are you talking about? Dude, seriously? Yeah. Relax, relax, relax. I need to get out of your car. Why? Because you're dead. Why? What are you talking about? He's just, he's just joking. He's yeah, joking. I don't care. Are you seriously? Yeah. You're getting out of my car right now. Have a now. good night. Are you serious? Yeah. You can, like, wait, wait, wait. Well, let's just pull over. Let's just chill out for a second. Jesus, we're out of, like, we're literally driving. Just wait a second. You're being a fucking asshole. Bye! Dude, what a fucking prick. Jesus Christ. What a fucking asshole. The fuck? you bro literally fuck yourself fuck yourself i hope your uber is fucking a hundred fucking dollars what a fucking asshole <laughs> the fuck did you get the hat back no we can keep his stupid hat jesus christ fuck you fucking stupid fucking Christ! What a fucking asshole! Jesus! I literally don't even know what to say right now. What a fucking sucking. Jesus! <laughs> w chat! I love you guys! Fuck that fucking loser! What a fucking asshole! Jesus! Yeah, we'll get Bodhi next time. He wouldn't he wouldn't be a fucking loser about it. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. What a fucking loser. What the fuck? I bought you a fucking hat? Fucking drove you around? I'm just going to drive home now, so What a fucking loser. <laughs> I really have nothing else to say. What a fucking loser. He literally, I took his hat and he pushed me, like, pushed me, like, like he was angry. And I totally let it go and I wasn't mad about it at all. Erase his address from the iPad so you don't accidentally dock him. I, I literally know what street he lives on. Like, I could dox him right now. What a fucking idiot. But I won't because I'm not an asshole. Okay, Mr. Girl, you want to talk about, like, repressed anger. Like, that's somebody with repressed anger. Because, like, literally I'm, like, driving this home. It's gonna be an hour to drive him home, and then I have to drive two hours back, and I was gonna do it. <laughs> what a fucking loser. Ride, can- okay, Juice, can you time ride out, please? Because he's being a bit of a bitch right now, and I just, like, really don't feel like it right now. Like, time ride out. He's been fucking spurging in chat. Like, time him out. Time him out. Time that little fucking bitch out. Go on Smith's stream. Except you can't, because he ended stream, because he's a fucking- the other community's gonna have a field day with this? Bro, literally, I hope they do. I hope they do. Because, like, he literally just got trolled right now. He literally got trolled and fucking had a fucking panic attack and tantrum about it. <laughs> You're such a fucking loser, dude. Time ride. No, time ride. I want ride timed out. Juice, please? <sighs> no one docks like he's mad for no reason? Bro, literally, nobody could literally tell. Like, nobody knows where I am right now. I thought he was gonna light you up, not gonna lie. I mean, that's a that's an almost 30 year old man, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He's a basket case? Yeah, that, like that's the craziest behavior I've ever seen from anybody. Like, I need to get out of your car right now, like while I'm driving. I thought he was joking about the like, I could hurt your daughter thing, but like, I, 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 I guess he wasn't. Um, he's a nut job, like, 
I thought he was just joking around, but I guess he's actually a nut job. <clears throat> Beta males are dangerous. You're lucky you're alive. Oh, that's literally true, Big Tech. That's like actually true. That's actually true. They'll kill a bitch. They will fucking kill a bitch. You lip dick enough. You dick limp enough. You can't get it up enough. You're going to get killed. You're going to get killed by one of these motherfuckers. He's lucky I don't drive up there and show him what comments like that deserve. Goddamn right, dad. Goddamn right. Like, I'm not even, I'm not like trying to be like a pick me or whatever. I'm just saying like, dude, <laughs> seriously? I'll fucking clean his clock if I ever meet him. Yes. I love it, dad. Goddamn right. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> Smith's concern about getting doxxed is legitimate. Nobody wants that. And also... From the video that I saw with him the other day, where he was like restoring and painting some patio furniture in a backyard of what seemed to be a nice house with a nice backyard, big mature trees, landscaping. It looks like people have lived there for years. The, the patio furniture was aged to the degree that it was needing to be restored and repainted. My guess, Smith lives with mom, maybe mom and dad. I don't know if they're still together. Smith lives with the parents. He doesn't want his family's house doxxed. That's what it, I don't know if that's for sure. But for whatever his reason is, it's fine. If you are very even paranoid, if you express, hey, I'm kind of paranoid about this. My biggest concern is thank you for the invite. I'm not an IRL streamer. I know we we live sort of close, Grace. Uh, you begged me to meet up with you. OK, I'll do it. But my one thing is I really, really am paranoid about getting doxxed. That's what Smith has been saying the whole time. Now, if you don't agree that he needs to be paranoid about it, that's fine. But he is. So you need to respect that or you're being an asshole. Either you respect it and just allow it because he's expressed it and he said, these are my terms. I'll hang out with you, but I just really want to be careful to not get doxxed. I don't want to take no risks with that. That's my thing. If you accept the hangout, you're agreeing to those terms. Now, if you during the hangout don't respect it and don't abide by that, you're, you're saying, I want a friend. I just want to hang out with a friend. I want a friend, a streamer friend. You're being a bad friend. That's your new friend who you begged to hang out with you, Grace, Ben. If, and he's told you what the terms are. He's like, my one thing is I really don't want to get doxxed. Then don't fuck with that. Simple. See, now the chat is talking about the potential. They're, ha they're hazing him and they're talking about the possibility of him getting doxxed because she's driving him home. Ben is talking about what location are you at. Now the conversation is steering toward the idea of Smith getting doxxed. Ben is in the chat. They're joking about sending pizza to my house. He's starting to spiral. Now that's on him, but that's what he's going through. That is what he's going through. He's starting, to he's starting to spiral. It's starting to fatigue him. He's feeling anxious. He's having worrisome thoughts. Did I make a mistake? Am I about to get doxxed? These people don't care about me. Oh, this is what I was worried about. He's having like that sort of thing dawning on him. But this is exactly what I was afraid of. Oh, shit. Fuck. This is, I knew I shouldn't have done this. Like those types of thoughts are starting to happen for the guy. Oh, no. How does Grace respond? I'm gonna, okay, I need to, I'm tired, okay. Grace saying, uh, Big Tech describing him like a child is price is not gonna lie. Yeah. Yes. This is a childlike person. No offense to the guy, but look, y'all retards. Smith, I like you. A lovable retard. That conversation he had with Mr. Girl the other day. I was retarded. Mr. Girl's a lovable retard to me. I mean, it's like, that's how I see all all y'all sinners. Straight up, just, you're all retarded. So he is like a child. He lives at home with mom and dad. He works retail. He's talking about confused about whether or not it's gay to suck and stuff. Like, he doesn't know what's going on. This is who you're hanging out with, Grace. Smith is a sensitive old and you know that. But when it's in your benefit, you want to ignore it. 
when it's convenient for you, when it's not suiting your needs, you want to pretend like he's 29 years old. He should be able to handle. He can't. He can't handle that. That's beyond him. Oh, he's 29 years old. Okay, we'll put him in the fucking seat of a fighter jet then and send him up. He's 29. Other 29-year-olds can do it. Smith should do it. Smith doesn't have that. He's not a fucking fighter jet pilot, and he's not a lot of other things. And he's also not able to handle what he's in right now. Maybe a lot of the people couldn't, but Smith, he's struggling. Help him out. Give him a fucking break. He came out on your stupid fucking adventure that you begged him to do that he didn't want to do. Cut him some slack. He's tripping. That's where you as a friend go, hey, don't trip. It's all good. Grace asks him, what's the boundary of yours that he's pushed? Making jokes about doxing me. So what does Grace do next? Does she go like, all right, dad, knock it off. Smith doesn't like that. We're chilling. All right, let me have fun with my friends. Is there any pushback against Ben from Grace ever? Have we ever seen Grace even ask her dad for anything? I can't think of it. So that makes Grace seem like a fucking doormat. While she calls everybody else a loser and weak, Grace, you are a fucking doormat. You are a doormat. Ben walks and shits all over you and all of your friends and your friendships and your family and your life. And you just take it and you take it and you take it. You're, you're a powerless doormat. And I said to you in DMs exactly that. And I think that the reason why you won't even ask him to be cool, to help you out, give you a break, hold back, is because you know he won't. Even if you fucking begged him, he wouldn't change his style at all. Not for you, because fuck you. He doesn't care about you. And you know that. Ben says, if hating pussy is parenting, Big Tech is number one dad in the world. You're the most sexually frustrated guy in the world. Didn't you just get out of like this sexless, shitty marriage for many years and then go online and you're just getting catfished and no pussy? Like you're just drowning in loneliness. I need to get out of your car. Why? Because you're dead. What? And does she respond now? The third chance, because you're dead. Again, number three. Does she say, all right, dad, fucking dad, stop. Fucking chill, Ben. Time him out again, guys. I don't know why. Dad, you're back in the chat. Now everything's going bad. Je Dad, fucking relax. But instead she tells Smith to relax. She will never stand up to Ben. Doormat Grace. Doormat Thorpe. Grace the fucking doormat. She cannot ask anything of her dad. This is the pattern that goes on and on in the, in the, Graves, in the Thorpe's family. Ben ruins a relationship with someone, drives them crazy... And then Grace fucking rages at them. It's not repressed anger. It's just normal anger. No, Ben. No, you're retarded. No, you're wrong. It's not normal. There was no reason for her to get angry. What is even the reason for her to get angry at him? He threatened physical violence. That's the cause. No, 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 no. That's your cope. First of all, he didn't threaten it. And second of all, she didn't get angry when he did that. She got angry when he got out of the car. There was, that was the opposite of violence. I'm going to go away from you. That's the opposite of aggression. Going away, making more space between me and you. If, any, if, if what you're saying is true, that he, she actually felt threatened by physical violence, then, then the proper response from him, him getting out of the car would be relief. Oh, that guy was starting to make me feel like I was in threat, in danger, and now he's gone. She should be expressing relief, not anger. She tried to keep him in the car. If she was actually feeling threatened, she wouldn't try to keep him in the car. So what you're saying doesn't make any sense. I said, beta males are dangerous. You're lucky you're alive. Did he have a fucking knife in his fanny pack? He could have been like, you know what? Fuck this and fuck this world and fuck this life and fuck this bitch and fuck you, Ben. What? In the heart. That could have happened. That would have been some really, really incredible content. But he didn't do that. You're lucky you're alive. You're lucky he didn't grab the wheel and fucking jerk your car into another car. You're lucky he wasn't a maniac. Ben Thorpe, for a brokey dollar, says, How's a golf club to your fucking kneecaps sound? You know where I'm at.
See, he would he would have to use a golf club. A golf club would be your weapon of choice. I was like, driving him home at 1 a.m. I was just driving, playing music. He goes, I got to get out of your car right now because I hate your dad, right? I'm like, okay, Jesus, I'm driving. We're in the street. Just let me pull over. You didn't say anything. Then he goes, I pull over and he goes, I have to get out of, I'm going to get out of your fucking car right fucking now. And I was like, Jesus, dude, fuck you. Like, I didn't do anything. Why are you acting crazy? He drops my camera, is rough with the wires, r goes out, and then he goes, why are you mad at me? And I said, because you're being a fucking asshole. He slams the door in my face and walks off. I'm the bad guy. I mean, I well, guess the problem is uh, <laughs> I think ben it wasn't was meant to be. You're to him, like, right? you're like, too Ben was the bad guy. Sporadic, and he's too sensitive. Like you guys never should have met. No, but yeah, wait, Ben is like a twenty-nine-year-old man. Okay, he could have dipped and got the tea. True. Yeah, he two hours before. Yeah. He can't well, he regulate himself and say, no, like, okay, he I had a bus ticket right, already. Grace, wait, wait Grace told him, no, don't take the bus. Let me drive you home. Stay longer. Don't take the bus. Let me drive you. Let me right. drive you. Stay longer. Right. Uh, right but and if, if, but if he has. So that's not him doing a big favor. That's not you doing him a favor. Like, that's oh, look, that's him like acquiescing to your begging. I'm just going to go ahead and get the tea because I'm getting sour and I'm like, I'm not liking what's going on. You You're saying like. Losers don't have any responsibility. Adults, a 29 year old doesn't have a responsibility to like regulate himself. And if things, I don't even no, have a problem no. said, if he just had said pull over. He did. Oh, I, 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 that is what he did. Problem? What, 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 how is that a big problem? Why be a well, fucking he asshole? Have never, like a he should he have said. never said it. But look, in the end, that's what you guys do. You, you push people and fuck with them, and uh, they either take it or they don't. And he, either way, he shouldn't have uh, said that to Grace, right? Mm -hmm. That's the end of it. But, but all, also, all social like, interactions involve challenges, unless you're at a gay yeah. orgy. <laughs> it's, Steven, do you think that there so was no challenge. one in the wrong here? Do you feel like you guys were not in the wrong? Of course they Absolutely don't. Absolutely not. In the wrong. Yeah. Of course not. Are you guys saying that no accountability? No, well, then why'd you act like I a victim when too. he was rough like with your cords it, and he slammed the door? Oh, well, it's just a social interaction. There was a challenge. Why are you acting like a big old victim? I, I don't think that Ben worded it in the best way, but the point was, in a sense, like when Grace was like, don't get on the bus, don't get on the bus, stay longer, he could have just been like, no, I really should get home. Right. You know but he agreed. He was like, all right. He even. He even and he was having a good time at that point. Ben wasn't back in the chat at that point. Ben was timed out. Ben wasn't mogging him. He was having fun. But should you be you hanging out with somebody who has a close relationship with someone you hate? You can't oh, handle a 20-year-old 20, uh, 20 girl's father being in live chat? Bro, just don't look at the screen and you're fine. Dude, like, your dad's 50 years old and he feezes out at your little brother all the time. That has nothing to do with it. Yeah, well, just don't have a family. Don't don't be a dad if you're 50 years old and you can't handle your shit. What, what is age at the I was friends with Juice was like I busting his balls a little bit. What if he just been like, "Oh, you like Juice?" And I was like, "Yeah, he's my mod." And he's like, "Well, fuck you. Hey, Juice, I could hurt her." It's right not now. the same thing. He told you her? when you <laughs> begged him originally for this whole thing. When you begged him and begged him and begged him on that stream that I was in with you guys, and you told him, "Come on, come on, Smith, come on." He told you the reasons why he was had apprehension about doing it. He didn't want to deal with Ben specifically, and you told he him, "Don't worry, it'll be cool. I'll make it a harmless little thing. It's not going to be like tech, that. He won't even tech, be involved." Tech. Big tech, big tech. Yeah, yeah. You've interacted with me, right? You love yeah. big tech. Okay. What else? You get that I push back, right? And I bust your balls, right? Yeah. Okay. If I have, if you have me on your stream and I behave like I always behave, do you have a right to say like I'm a victim of that or Nothing's like just is it like well that's on kick. Well, That's if if guy. I say I don't want to go hang out IRL with Grace because Ben is probably going to show up and uh, like be a problem for me, and you and you and I talked about it, you said what's even the worst that could happen? What I tell you is like, well, he could actually have end up having a bad experience. This is what I told you back then. He could have a bad experience that he might end up regretting. He might spiral about it, be emotionally disturbed for weeks. That's kind of a lot to ask of a guy. That's what I said to you, and you said, okay, and you, but whose you responsibility gave, you gave him, is it to figure you that gave, out? You gave whose him, responsibility is it to figure you that out? You guys gave him an agreement. Whose responsibility? You is it to guys that agreed out? to cut Let's that part the out the of shit. the deal. You said that Look, won't happen. Who's responsible? If someone goes, hey, if someone goes to me and goes, hey, let's go out and have some drinks, and I'm like, I'm tired. Okay, 
But if I say, I'll go out with you, Grace, but as long as your like, dad isn't involved. The law because, like, I'll go as long as your I fucking, go, your, your you shitty, guys, annoying come dad can't and come, though. And she goes, right, okay, okay I'll, we'll go out for drinks, but my, your, my dad, dad won't be come. there. If he had said, I'm not going to go with you if your dad is in your live chat, I would have said, you're crazy. Then I don't want to meet up with you. That's nah, you, like a crazy do, thing you had the opportunity, Grace, several times, and I went over it on the stream, to stand up. And you just the the ultimate problem is I just don't care if my dad Grace is jokes in won't stand up against Ben not for anything. Well, of course not, Big Tech. I'm not going to stand that. up against my dad making jokes in chat. No, yeah, it's yeah, not I know. Life chat. Dude, you won't. close your eyes. Not even, not even for your friends. Drive home. Not Grace, even for your friends. Not even for your sensitive friend who you're trying to be friends with. You won't even just right. ask your dad to chill. He's not my friend. He's a content. But you were trying to be friends with him. You said you were trying to have a positive interaction that didn't end in some sort of blowout. That's what you wanted, and okay, you failed so your, at that. Your thing is if a guy's acting like an asshole, yes. right? Over no, and over again for hours. If she wants to make friends with content creators like that, she has yeah, to they're not going to want to hang out with you guys. Yeah. They're not yeah. going to want to hang out you with you gotta guys You got to make accommodations for them, the people that you're choosing. Out. Well, he said he didn't want to hang out, and then you said we will accommodate, and then you didn't. But it's his right. fucking decision, Big Tech. <laughs> and he said no because of, and then you said, but okay, you know well, we won't no, do no, that. No, no. And then tech, you did. Big Tech, you know why he agreed to hang out with me? Because Mr. Girl said it would be good content. That's, That's true. That's why he agreed. That's, That's true. His fault. Okay, then well, let's, you, hey, well, then we blame Mr. Girl. Then it's another Mr. Girl L. Mr. Girl's fault. <laughs> you know what? You're right. You went on that one. That's actually a really good point. Everybody knew it was going to go like this. Mr. Girl made it happen. If a, yeah, if we a all person know. can't regulate Max themselves is all fucking enough to machine. make decisions, then they shouldn't be a member of society. They should be in a group home. They should be institutionalized. If you at age 29 can't keep yourself from committing a crime, actually two <laughs> crimes, yeah, because you're experiencing what every streamer experiences with streamers and you end up giving your address when a girl's giving you a ride yeah but he's not even acting like a victim do. you're the one acting like you a victim you're the one it. who's still crying you're about it he got loser. he got out of the car and he handled his business his he got out of the car took care of She's himself doing him went a home favor. he hey, said fuck this i'm dead he, okay, he said, so I'm good, I'm leaving. Me, right? You guys You're are the ones crying fuck. about it. You just talk over me. You won't let me talk, and then okay, you talk. So You're the, a fucking so loser. Mad, 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 come visit you, you fucking cocksucker. Whoa, feezing. Literally on fire. You're so mad. Do you think I really can't, like, just control your anger? Stay up at night. crazy. He knows. He He's fucking with me in his stream, and I'm gonna push him back. Big fucking deal. What is he gonna do? Go cry now? Yeah, big fucking deal. He, right. So he got out of the car and left. Big fucking deal. The same thing though. No. You, you keep skipping over the part where he threatened my fucking. Daughter. He didn't threaten her. He kind of did. No, he, he did. No, he. There was no threat. Really there was no turn. actual he threat, really and act and Grace did not feel threatened. It. My point actually stands. Well, if Grace actually felt, hold on, thing. oh, don't talk over me, you fucking asshole, you can't talk over me. Right. Hey, right. if if Grace actually felt threatened, then she wouldn't have begged him to stay in the car. She would have been relieved when he left, but she didn't feel threatened. There was no threat. She didn't beg him to stay in the car. She begged. Yeah, she did. She said, "No, no, no, don't leave. You don't need to leave. Why? Why are you leaving? You don't treat a guy who's threatening you that way. You're like, okay, good. Your go mic's ahead. not working, by the way. We can't hear you guys. Guys, the mic's fucked you. up. Way to go, Ben. I guarantee you that if one of your was some, they started going Hamas. Damn, look at this. The mic's actually self-censoring him. That you would leave <laughs> shit on that person. You would. None of these other guys who don't have any kids and never will have any kids would understand what we're talking about. But anyone who's a parent would go, what the fuck? Yeah, I have the same view on having sex. Yeah, well, that's how I feel about you. Watching you, me as a parent, watching what you do and the way you relate with your daughter and your daughter's associates and the positions you put her in and then antagonizing a guy who's in the car with her. I'm looking at you going, what the fuck? What do you think Wait. about saying that to a guy like, I could hurt your daughter right now? What do you think about that? That's the only part I care about. That's I think it's weird. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, you're. I know you're. You're. A, you're a victim, dude. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you. I feel. I'm sorry for your pain. 
Suck animal. my dick. Fucking <laughs> 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 asshole, Big Jack. I'm sorry I'm for your pain. I know this asshole. is hard for you. I know you're stressed out. I would be You'll stressed out too. Any I would be stressed, dude. Stop. I would. I would be mad as hell You're and bent out of shape. Asshole. You're such a little pussy. You have so much fucking daddy issues. You suck a dick. Let's go. You wouldn't last five seconds in front of me. With I your would. Fag talk. Yeah, you just fucking wreck me. All right, so the, let's try it now. I'll find your kids, and I'll replay this on you, okay? And what if I get them over here, and I go, what do you think, Big Tech? Yeah, you're you gonna probably do... will laugh because you're such a fucking loser. You're going to do that? What if I did? That's my point, you Yeah, you're going to? You're going to? What if I did? Are you threatening me right now? <laughs> what if I did? Are what you putting me in a self-defense situation, go, hey, Ben Big Thorpe? Tech. You're being you putting me in a self defense I situation. I can fucking violate your kids right now. Dude, my fr what my would kid do? would fucking whoop your what ass. He'd you rip do? your fucking Bring balls him. off like a smiter monkey. My son would what fucking would rip do? your eyeballs what and shit down your neck. What would you do? Would you what do would right you with that? do if I came what over there do, and spit in your what face? What would you do? What would you do? What would I do if what? I'm sorry. What would I do if what? I didn't like that joke. Your kids are here. And I could fucking hurt them. What What do you think yeah. about that, Big Tech? What would you yeah. say? Yeah, I wouldn't let what my would kids say? hang out. I wouldn't let my kids hang out with you. No, what if they were here? Yeah, right? what if? Why it should have, could have, would have, what if? Second? Can you answer? What if what? What if this what weird if hypothetical? What I said to you, I don't like that joke, Big Tech. Okay, okay, I'll answer you. I'll answer you. Kids. I'll answer you. I'll answer you straight up. And I go, what do you think about that? Are you ready? Because I'm going to answer you straight up. I'm asking up. you. Here's your kids next to me. I'm threatening violence against them. I already like, heard you, buddy. What's your fucking response? I'm ready to answer you when you're ready. Are you ready now? Yeah, do it quick like he did. I would stop making that joke. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. There you go. Enjoy burning in hell if my kid your was kid in your room and you were saying boring. something that made me fucking feel like they were in danger no, i would say, fucking I change my tune nigger. immediately i I'm would change my cops. fucking tune I'm the cops and i'm on my way in the car don't you fucking touch those kids or you're dead that's what a man would say oh like you would said. you keep would you keep antagonizing oh, in the chat would you keep antagonizing you. in the chat why? Your Would you keep antagonizing and right further now. endangering your daughter you by pressing the your joke? Your kids think you're a loser because you've renounced <laughs> pussy. That's you. You feel what like this is a place that you can stand and rage I'm out and be the. You're just doing a big old victim lap. You're just form. fucking victim lapping. He made person. me feel scared for the safety of so my daughter. That's why I'm angry. I'm angry because he made me feel scared. No, you. You Would liar. you call the police if I said that? You didn't feel scared for a second you're lying. You didn't feel scared Would for a you second you're lying. Would call the police if, yes or no question. Would you call the police if I did that? If you actually made me feel that my kids were in danger, I would. I, I told you what, I, I told you the situation. Would you call the police? I just told you situation? if I actually felt that my kids were in danger. No, I, mean, I told you the situation. I'm okay, not I like know, and I'm answering the question. The police if. I doubt. Or would you say, like, well, I'm going to negotiate with this terrorist now because that's legit. You'd call Big the fucking... If you had your kids near him, I would call child services. Yes, kind of exactly. Everybody on. would call cop the cops on me for letting my kids hang out with you for a minute. Well, whatever. You know the situation. Yeah, well, you're giving me the hypothetical. I'm so here's a hypothetical right back at you, pal. And they they came here and they streamed or whatever and you know and and I say like I could I could hurt your kid, right? And you 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 know what the fuck? I hope you know that the answer would be that you would immediately, immediately. You're having the gayest the power fantasy no, drama no in your head right now. If I was in that place, I would but totally, probably, I would get on my horse and I would put on my black hat and I would strap my six guns up and I'd roll out with my posse because I'm a man. That's what you're doing. Guy, even though you I'm think so that's tough. Your wife. And that you, you, ben, ben, did you have renounced pussy because you are 
you're not up for it. I get it. You're not up for being a man, so you're going to do this cope shit. Good luck. What do you mean? You're not being a man. You didn't do anything about it. Yeah, you're just feezing online. I was literally just did. crying on the internet and what doing you do, shit. Though? You're just complaining you to Canadian? your pals because you're a bitch. Did you call the cops? I haven't called the police yet, but I let Smith know. What do you mean no yet? Why do you ain't even no sheets on that bed. I see a mattress. I'm here for it. I wish you guys nothing but the best. I hope you do blast off. I think Grace actually, like for real, does have like some kind of superstar energy. I'm not dumb. I am German. Yeah. He's been coping and seething on my stream and chat for like two hours, and then he goes on Ava's stream. What I should have done is just done whatever she wanted, so like a fucking mean. simp, like Ben, like. Oh, but you, oh, I, oh, I just got to do whatever you want me to do because I'm afraid to have a backbone. I guess they, that's what Ben wants people around him to be. He wants them to be spineless, pathetic retards. That, <laughs> no, like, that's just what you are. That strong through his eyes because he constantly abuses everybody. But uh, that's not going to be me, buddy. My first experience with her was like good. Like it was like fine. And then the second one when like Ben was involved is when it got weird. Which it kind of seems yeah. like was the same thing with you. Yeah. Like, it was mm -hmm. Ben in the chat that was being like, it's all your fault. That dox me and riling up the yeah. chat to dox me and making jokes about it. So, yeah, no, that's yeah. not, I don't want to be driven home by people that are like threatening and riling people up to dox me and make, <laughs> making a game out of it. So, no, like, I don't want to do that. If you want to do that, it's not going to be what I'm going to do with you. He fails to mention that um, you're right. You're, like, and, and if that makes you sad, why don't you go cry to your fucking mommy? No, I think that that's what it is, is that she's like, I mean, when I watch it, if that makes you sad, go cry to your mommy. Not Smith literally telling me five minutes into meeting him that he makes himself cry on purpose about his parents. Oh, Smith, come on now. Oh, she has all this repressed rage that's like because of him, but like yeah. if she directs it towards him, like it's like, like at least you, you know it's not fucking personal at all. Like it has to all be directed towards you. What I really like is taking somebody who thinks that they know what they're talking about online. Somebody who exists in a square, right? We all see them. They're in their little bubble. They present themselves a certain way and they have control, right? And they're by themselves. And they think that they can talk shit to people. And also, like, they think that they know what they're talking about. They think they can say, like, hey, I, I get psychology. I get, I get the way people think. I get parental relationships, all that stuff, right? What I enjoy is taking people like that out of their bubble and just putting them in normal social situations and seeing how they respond. But we are gonna head to the bowling alley across the street. Shoe time. <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> Get it together, bitch. Where's Maggie? Um, my mom said she couldn't come. She's crying? She sits down to put on her bowling shoes and just starts crying? My mom said she couldn't come. No! Okay, everybody in chat, happy birthday to you. Wait, she's not even... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rick <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Can I get a kiss? That was my joke. That's not stripped of me. Oh. I closed. You should get a corset to make her th uh, waist thinner. So this is their kiss. So Ben goes in and says, happy birthday, honey. He sings her happy birthday and says, can I get a kiss? Puts his arms around her, traps her, pulls her in, and makes out with her. Bro. Like, what in the fuck, bro? Why? Why? What are you doing? I do wish that was me, though. I wish Ben would kiss me like that. My mother fucking.
fucking asked me to perform fellatio on my father so that we could keep our family together. But I've been mean. And you know, do you know why people say that I'm mean? Do you know why people say it? I was trying to put this together earlier. I didn't get it yet all the way. But the reason people say I'm mean is not because I'm mean. It's because they want to break me down because they can see that I'm beautiful and I am nice to people and I am genuine to people and I'm always joking around, except for now, this is not a joke, but they can tell that I'm actually not mean. So they just want to keep saying it and screwing that little, that little, that little piece of an insecurity. They just want to wedge it deeper and deeper and deeper. That's why, that's why. That's why they don't they don't ever say what she did was shitty. What? My queen. Yes. You want to promote chat? Shout out to Queen Grace here. Let's get some likes, let's get some subs, and let's get that money rolling in. You can't be a queen without some dough. Amazing. Life is something else. I want to urge you folks. I really, really want to. This is all love. You gotta let anger go. Really, 